G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Today we're going to focus on hitting the driver further for women. We're going to focus on those common misconceptions and mistakes that a lot of women golfers make. And we won't deny that strength is a factor and is an advantage, but even if you're not very strong, you can still hit the ball a lot further than you do and help you to reach your full potential. We've got our free training guide that's in the description below. You can download that straight to your phone. And these few ideas are really going to help you to drive the ball further. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros where we help you make the most of your game. Didn't look very good, did it? What you'll notice about that shot is that the backswing was longer than the follow through. And I see so many women golfers do that. They feel like they can generate more club head speed by having this big backswing, but then what happens is we actually decelerate through impact and we lose a lot of club head speed. We want to do exactly the reverse. We want the backswing to be wound up, yes, a nice big turn, but shorter, probably shorter than parallel so that they can drive through and learn to accelerate. And what we're after here is a nice long finish. Allow that momentum of the club head speed to bring you right through over your lead shoulder and it's really start to commit to some drives. So here's a great little drill to help you get the hang of that. I'm just going to grab an eight iron here. doesn't really matter what, what iron. Put it on a low T, because we're actually simulating the driver feeling here. And what I'm going to get you to do is have a half length backswing, but then really accelerate through to a full finish. What that's going to encourage you to do is drive better with the legs than the hips, get you rotating through and generating power from the ground, rather than trying to use your arms all the time with this big long backswing. So normal setup, as I said, the ball's just on a low tee there, very short backswing, and then really try to hit the ball as far as you can from that short backswing. And you'll actually be surprised at how far you hit some of those shots. Might even go further than your normal eight iron, because by having a very short backswing, you're only gonna be able to generate power where it wants to come from, which is the ground. The legs and the hips turning through then the arms and the wrists and the club can follow rather than the other way around. Now I really want you to do plenty of those on the driving range. Really get used to accelerating from the ground up and then try it with the driver. So we're not going to stop quite at half length here. We're going to allow the swing to get a little longer but we want that same feel of acceleration and driving the legs and hips. Because what happens with that big long backswing is the only way to start the downswing from there is with the club and the arms. We're not in a position to drive the legs and hips and that's why we lose so much power. So set up position, you should be ball opposite your front foot and you should be behind the ball. That's for anybody with the driver. And we're gonna go a little bit shorter backswing and then drive through. Let's see what we can achieve here. Much more committed, easier to hit it straight as well because you're rotating through and you can definitely generate a lot more club head speed from that shorter backswing by using the legs and hips effectively and improving your kinematic sequence. I just went to collect those three golf balls and the second drive went 100 yards further than the first with a shorter backswing and better acceleration. You don't need to be strong to hit the ball further but you do need a better kinematic sequence and to use your legs more. After all, they are stronger than your arms, so it makes sense to learn to use that drive. Get it stuck into those drills and you will learn how to accelerate better. Thanks so much for watching. There's your free download training guide or in the description below. And watch this video next. That one's all about hitting over hazards. We look forward to seeing you then. Are you the best golfer you can be?